And now, Storm Tracker 2 weather with meteorologist Matt Lanza. Welcome back, everybody. A sun-filled day across central New York. Got temperatures only up into the low 60s this afternoon. Pretty impressive for late May when we should be in at least the lower 70s. Usually a bright, sunny day like this would translate to at least 80 or so, but not so today. Air mass over us is very cool. 59 out there right now. Temperatures actually fallen off the last couple of hours. Dew points in the low 30s. That's another signal that we're going to have uh, some interesting weather tonight. The low dew points means the air is very dry. means after sunset, as these winds settle down, temperatures are going to fall fast, probably down to uh, the 30s. And the record low tonight, I believe, of 34 degrees is once again going to be in jeopardy. We broke through it last night. We got down to 33. So... We'll see what happens tonight. Frost again, a likelihood. Make your preparations now if you have anything outdoors. Notice cool 50s back here to the west as well, so everybody's a little bit on the cool side here. The good news is this will be the last really cold night uh, over the next couple of days before things start to turn a little bit milder as we go toward the end of the week. We'll zoom you out here, show you what's happening elsewhere across the northeast. You can see a little bit milder down to our south, but if you remember yesterday, we were talking middle 80s down toward the Jersey Shore, and they've obviously cooled off as well. So everybody's enjoying, or I guess enjoying, some of this cool, slightly cooler weather across the northeast here. Uh, but again, we're going to start to see things change a bit tomorrow. Our winds will be from the west, but it will help to pump in some warmer air tomorrow afternoon. Notice not a cloud in sight here across the northeast. Everything is nice and quiet, not much going on back to our west and the upper Great Lakes. So that means that we're going to have clear skies tonight and probably tons of sunshine out there once again for tomorrow. And in fact, our microcast will kind of take you right through this here. As we go through the night tonight, clear skies out there for later on tonight. Again, patchy frost as lows get into the 30s. As we go through the day tomorrow, sunshine from start to finish. Notice very, very little in the way of cloud cover popping up. So a bright blue sky. Temperatures getting into the 70s tomorrow afternoon in many locations. 60s elsewhere. So some places that didn't get out of the 50s today should get into the 60s tomorrow. Should be a little bit nicer. Tomorrow night, a weak little cold front is going to try and drop in from the north and east and try and usher in some slightly cooler air. I think it's going to fall apart as it gets through here. So while the Adirondacks may see a little bit in the way of some cloud cover tomorrow night and into Friday, uh, along with some damper conditions, uh, I don't think it's really going to spread too much further than about Old Forge or so. So an Old Forge north and east will be uh, mostly cloudy, maybe partly cloudy, with a chance of a shower here and there, hit or miss, into uh, Thursday night and Friday. But the rest of us, I think, even though Microcast is showing a couple of showers, should remain dry. Our chance for rain will not come here until Friday night. So for tonight, temperatures down into the middle 30s officially at least, possibly lower 30s and 20s in outlying areas. Frost a likelihood and for tomorrow, sunshine straight through looks nice. Low 70s for daytime highs. Your extended forecast, mid-70s on Friday, a few clouds later in the day. Then Friday night to Saturday morning, a period of some rain and thunderstorms is likely. And then Saturday afternoon, depending on how much sunshine we see, we could be talking about some stronger thunderstorms or just a few hit or miss showers. We've got to watch this closely. We'll keep you posted. Not really going to clear out very fast here as we go into Sunday with temperatures only in the upper 60 and I think a lot of clouds around. So the weekend's not looking great at this point, but hopefully by Monday or so we can clear things out. Stephen